Hi, everybody. I want to welcome you back to the uh, ATSF Paradigm Division. Uh, today, what I'm going to talk about a bit is uh, some of the projects that I've got coming up in the next couple of months. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, show you a, uh, a project that uh, uh, I owe to BNSF 6951, uh, Vinny. Uh, for uh, it was a gift slash winning uh, during his uh, Christmas giveaway. And I had to spend some time trying to figure out where to put it because um, it's a Japanese uh, style uh, crossover over tracks, like for a passenger station. But my tracks are a little too wide, so I did find a place to put it. So I'll show that one first and then we'll go to the other projects. Everybody seems to be using pointers, so rather than my finger pointing it, um, this is the uh, gift or winning that I got from uh, Vinny back uh, at Christmas. And the only place I could figure to put it is this over the tracks going, uh, this is the passenger uh, car yard back here. And then this is where the fuel is dropped off for the engine facility here in Union Station. So I decided I'm gonna put this particular kit here and I still gotta finish it, but uh, but that's, that's about where it's gonna go. So, but anyway, we'll get on to the next one. The next project is going to be this interstate oil uh, company kit. Uh, I got this from uh, Yankee Dabbler and it just it just came in yesterday. Um, I used to have a, another ha half of some of the tanks from another kit that I had um, that I got I guess at a uh, at a train show but that kit needed to be complete so so it gives me a little bit of a, a driveway, if you want to say, around the outside here. So, but anyway, this kit will be going here. And then from about where this building is here over, I'm going to try to finish this area. As you can see, I've been working on at least the plaster in this area. So, but that's it for, and this is Michelson. And, uh, but that's it for this area. Another project uh, is going to be here, and this is uh, just at the entrance to Tulsa Station, which is uh, over to the right in this picture. I have three of these North Island refinery kits that I'm going to be putting in this area uh, where the masonite hardboard is for now. Um, but anyway, I need to figure out how to join the three of them. So it'll be kind of a long-term project, but uh, uh, I've been looking at uh, some of the uh, kit assemblies that have been put together on some of the other layouts, uh, Joe Rader being one, and I like, kind of liked what he did, and I found another couple of them that uh, I will kind of use some of the ideas from those. But that's that's going to be uh, the project up in this area um, because I have, let me loosen up the camera mount. I have the oil loading facility over in this area and that's got uh, three tracks. So, uh, and there's the station over there, but uh, so these three refinery kits, and this is uh, to go over the track for piping, that's 3D printed. And then it'll support these three tracks here for oil loading. But anyway, that's uh, another one of the projects. There's gonna be a couple of projects here in the uh, back corner. As you notice, I've, I've done some uh, preliminary 
foam construction here. I want to try to, I got to kind of do some shaping on this to get it so it looks like these hills are in front of the hills in the back. And I'll probably add some more over in this area because I'll have to bring it up to meet this part over here. But uh, so that's one of the projects. And so that'll be take a while. Then I got to finish some of these hills here in the foreground. Um, this was here. Uh, when my daughter-in-law was painting this uh, storm scene back in here, I had to get that. It was crushed, so I'll have to get that put back up. But for me to work in the back here, I'll just let it fall down flat again. Uh, another part of the project is I have had this rock for years. I think I'm going to put that in here, and then the gravel company will have a gravel pit over in this area so but that's that's for this in the foreground i also have for the back one of those uh, broadway limited thund thunder thunder uh, with lightning uh kits uh I, i've had it and i played with it for a while but i'm going to leave some room behind the back of this along the back wall to, uh, so that thing can be operated, so. Another uh, set of toys I got for the layout is these are trees from uh, Long Shadows Trees. Uh, I ordered a hundred oak trees and uh, they came the other day, so. They'll be uh, going in this area, uh, some in here. Uh, maybe I might add some more back in there. I need some trees for there. And then over on the, on the far wall as well. So I like his trees. They're handmade. Um, and also, I'm gonna, I need a bunch of them over there for that mountain uh, in the background that we'll discuss uh, one of the later projects. But uh, I want to thank you, Bob Lacey, for uh, doing those uh, 100 trees for me. Plus, uh, he sent me two free pine trees, which was nice of him. And uh, But anyway, uh, they'll go to supporting all these other projects that I have. Thank you again. Bye.